Please join us in responsive reading. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come, and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your will, I seek you with all my heart. Don't let me stray from your commands. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win a favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He satisfies my desires with good things, so that my youth is renewed uh, like the eagles. This morning we invite each and every one of you to look to the screen as we sing a contemporary song, Open the Eyes, of our heart, Lord, and uh, we invite you to stand this morning. to see you Open the eyes of my heart Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you See you high To see you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see to see you high and lifted up. To see you high and lifted up. Come on. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. 
right your power and love as we sing holy holy see you high high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory all right your power and love as we sing holy 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 break it down real sweetly now holy holy Let's do that again. this morning. Come on. You may be seated. If you'll join me in singing our call to prayer, it's hymn number 290. We'll be singing the first verse only, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. If you're able to, kneel in prayer, please. invite all the kids to join me down here in front right below where I'm standing so that everyone can see your smiling faces this morning I've got some special pictures I want to share and a quick story I want to share with you all so come on down all the kids Okay, my adventures. Does anybody know what this is? Do you remember? When we join adventures, we write our name on one of those stones. Yes, a long time ago in Bible stories and Bible times, the, um, the people of God used to build an altar when they gave their lives to Jesus. You don't have to raise your hand, but has anyone given their life to Jesus? Maybe some grown-ups out there? Well, what we do at the beginning of every adventure year is we write our names on one of the tiles and we add to our altar, our adventure altar. And at the bottom of it, maybe you adventures can help me say this really loud so that everybody can hear, is our adventure law, which says, Jesus can help me be... Okay. 
obedient, be pure, be charitable, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be and reverent. And our adventure pledge that we have on our altar says that because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. That means we're always going to do our very best. Sometimes we make mistakes, even moms and dads, but we're always going to do our best. And when I look at this altar, I think of building blocks and how you being in adventures, even if you're not in adventures, just you being here at church today is a building block, right? Because you're building a block towards being maybe an adventure someday or a pathfinder. How many want to be a pathfinder someday? That's going to be awesome. And after a pathfinder, what comes next? Maybe being a pastor like Pastor Greg or Elder Park? Wow, that would be awesome to see Elder Ryan McGrady preaching someday. Or Pastor Liam Campbell or Pastor Jonathan Rodriguez. Or I personally, one of the Scotto boys would be fun, right? (laughs) What's that? Or some girls, I'm sorry, Pastor Emma. Pastor Cassie, Pastor Alexander Rodriguez, or Pastor Emma, Abby Collins, perhaps, or Alina, or Audrey. Or who did I forget? <laughs> All right, or Pastor Reagan, of course. Pastor Reagan Gray, that has a nice ring to it. I bet her grandpa would be really proud. Well, I'm going to share a couple of pictures of what our adventures have been up to. So, friends, you want to turn around and see? You could see what we've been up to all year long. So here we have our adventures went to Placerita Nature Park, and we got to see some live animals, a snake, there was um, an owl, what other animals, there was some birds, and um, it was a really fun time. We had a picnic out there, and we got to do some walking around with our adventure club, and this was fun. We went roller skating. Anyone gone roller skating? That was fun. Even the grown-ups got to go roller skating with about 450 other adventure kids. That was a lot of skating. And there's Mrs. Hinkle on roller skates. Have you ever seen Mrs. Hinkle on roller skates? That was really special. And John Hinkle, and we had a special author come and read us a book that she had written called The Very First, or The Real Story of the Easter Bunny, which was a bunny who was there when the tomb closed on Jesus. It was a really special book and a special time for us. And um, there's our snake with a couple of our adventures at the Placerita Nature Center. And we got to go to a little aquarium here in Newhall and touch some of the starfish and sea animals that Jesus made. And our favorite, Camp Cedar Falls. Some of us joined us at um, Camp Cedar Falls last May for family camp. And there's Tyler and Madeline, some of our adventures on a really fun hike out in the beautiful nature Jesus made for us. Some of our families enjoying the waterfall at Camp Cedar Falls and our adventures at our um, the Fire Bowl at Camp Cedar Falls. And Reagan on the swinging bridge, that was fun. Michael and I out camping, doing some hiking. And this to the right is a um, CVAS. It's a Crescenta Valley School where Alina goes. We got to go there and have a booth and sell some delicious Scotto tacos and make a little money for the school, a little money for our adventure club, and that was fun, dunking our friends in the dunk tank, and Michael Scotto had fun putting his brothers in jail all day long. That was really fun. Some more adventure friends, and there's his brother uh, getting wet in the dunk tank at the festival. This was special. We got to go ice skating and work on our ice skating badge and play in the snow right here in Valencia. And our marathon where we got to pass out water to our community friends. And we even got a picture with one of our local um, officers, police officers, at the Santa Clarita Marathon. And that's all. Thank you so much to our church family for supporting our adventures. And it's never too late to sign your child up for adventures. We have a lot of fun telling the kids about Jesus, making new friends, and overall just having a great time together. Right, friends? So I'm going to invite you to join us in collecting our lambs offering. So grab a basket.
invite each and every one of you to stand as we sing our closing song, which is listed on the screen above me, Let It Rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praise of our King Rise among us, let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the song of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of our King among us, let it rise. Oh, oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let's do that again. Oh. So good one last time. Oh, let it rise. Amen. Glory be to him whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. And glory be to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.